Basketball on 107.1 WLCO's Jerry FM. Today's game is being brought to you by the NEW Credit Union, O'Connell Falls Insurance Center, Wits Piggly Wiggly, Stevenson National Bank and Trust, Island Falls Scotchman Anderson, and 24-7 Well and Pump. I like our feet. I like our feet. We'll go courtside right after this. I like our feet. Looking for future leaders we can trust and believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Wisconsin. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It begins by making their grades and being on time for practice. It includes learning to listen, following directions, accepting responsibility, being a good role model. And it's about respect for officials, opponents, the rules, and each other. The result? It transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Hi folks, this is David from Wits Piggly Wiggly in Ocado Falls. Are you sick of rising gas prices? Well, at Wits, we have a solution. When you purchase qualified groceries with blue shelf stickers, and there's hundreds throughout our store, you build up discounts for 15 gallons of gas on your club card. Then, when you fill up at our pig stop pumps, just scan your card and watch the gas price drop. So scan your card, shop the blue stickers, and save money on gas at the pig in Ocado Falls. At 24-7 Well and Pump Service, we mean just that. Water will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407, and a licensed professional will come out to your site. Whether it is a water system installation, repair, well inspection, or install underground water lines, they'll be there. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407. We're in the Ocano, Ocano Falls area yellow pages. 24-7 well and pump service. Fireside Road, Ocano Falls. Have yeah, a very pleasant good evening, everybody. High school basketball, Packerland Conference, finally, after having Ocano Falls open up the season with the boys and the girls. Ocano Girls tonight as they host the Southern Door Eagles. Hi, everybody. I'm Larry Walters on WOCO Stereo FM. Southern Door coming in on this young season with a 2 and all record, 3-0 and overall. As Southern Door knocked off NEW Lutheran by a score of 67-42. In that, in that game, if I get to it, there we go. Southern Door was led by Gabrielle Atkins and Taya Bertrand, each with 12 points, as Southern Door outscored A.W. Lutheran in the first half, 41-23, and finished off with a 26-19 second half. Southern Door's other, other games that were played, so far, it is the young season. They uh, knocked off Brilliant 55-38 and down Kiwani 57-38 as well. So a pair of defensive 38. Southern Door on the team, led by Gabriel Atkins with a 12.3 points per game average. Megan Lacrosse averages 10.3. Taya Bertrand 9.3. Megan Lacrosse has a 8.3 rebounds per game and Gabrielle Atkins 6.3 Gabrielle Atkins leads the assist wars with a 3.3 assist per ball game Oconto we'll take a look at them right after this on your home for high school sports back right after this on WCO Stereo FM 
If you don't know everything about insurance, you'll profit from the knowledge and experience at the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. You'll benefit from their thorough analysis of the insurance that you really need. They'll recommend the companies and policies that are the best for you. At the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, they specialize in complete coverage of all your insurance needs. Call the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. Did you hear? We've branched into your living room. This is Beth Larson from the Stevenson National Bank and Trust. Our e-branch at snbt.com lets you manage your money 24-7 from the comfort of your home. Apply for loans, check your balances, and even open accounts. Don't waste another minute. Visit snbt.com now to take advantage of all the convenience of our e-branch offers from the Stevenson National Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Alcantara is coming with winds. They opened up the season over Coleman 59-49. They lost their first tackling conference game of the year to the new team, Pesigo, 49-32. And they knocked off Sebastopol 73 45 and Leona Lavino 40 54 43 out to tonight. They traveled to Sturgeon Bay on December 5th, December 8th, home against Algoma, December 14th, on the road to Gibraltar. And they have Kiwani at home on the 21st, Rosholt here at the 28th. I'm sorry. Then they go to the holiday tournament in Gillette on the 28th as uh, they they take on either Rosholt or Marion in the Gillette ho or Gillette, the holiday tournament. And we'll, we'll figure out that schedule a little, uh, a little later. Oconto in a game against Wabino Leona, which was Monday the 27th, they... Uh, a 28 21 lead, and they were led by 21 points by Mara Allen, 11 by Sydney Cook, 12 by Lauren Nierenau, and Wabino Leona, led by Grace Novak with 12. Ocanto on the season is led by Mara Allen. She averages about 17.8 points per game. Sydney Cook, 12.5. Lauren Nierenau, 9.2. Mara Allen. Leads the team in rebounds at 13.2. Joe Hornblad, 6.6.5. Assist leader will be Lauren Nierhouse and Ann Sidney Cook both with, with 3.2 assists per game. Again, Oconto and Southern Door here on WLCO Stereo FM and on the WLCO Sports Stream, YouTube Live, WLCO. Call it up, WLCO Radio Sports Live on YouTube, and uh, you can also hear this game. And you can tell your family and friends from all over, because I know down south I've got one uh, faithful listener down south. And uh, I'm not sure if David, uh, usually David's listening, and uh, he tries to keep up to date with what we're doing. So, Dave, you're listening. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? We'll be taking a quick break as we're going to go into the National Anthem. On our home, we're back to the studio on your home sports, WLCO, story of them tip off right after this. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Wisconsin. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. We all want to be self-sufficient, whether it's fixing projects at home, whether it's changing the oil on the car, or maybe even keeping your checkbook balance. But when it comes to income taxes, trust me, you don't want to do it yourself. You don't want to do it with someone that just does it three months a year as a little sideline job. You need to work with a proactive 24-7 CPA firm that can actually get your results and keep more money in your pocket. Pick up the phone today. 715-735-0583. Holidays are a time of joy. Don't let money worries get in the way. Want a stress-free holiday? Call NEW Credit Union at 800-924-1250 and ask about our holiday loan special. 
That's 800-924-1250. Rates as low as 4.99% annual percentage rate for a 12-month term. Maximum amount, $2,500. Our loan specialists work hard to help you get the loan that fits your needs. Rates subject to credit worthiness. Stop at any one of our locations or you can apply online at newcu.org. Example of repayment would be a monthly payment of about $8.56 per $100 borrowed. All loans subject to approval. Federally insured by the NCUA. With offices in Oconto, Zurich, Oconto Falls, and Pistville, we are federally insured by the NCUA. Membership eligibility required. This holiday season, remember, we can help you own it. And welcome back. As we're taking a look at today starting lineups as the O'Connell Blue Devils will be announced as soon as they can. Well, they, they had a problem with the, the national anthem. And they, uh, the group of uh, guys down here to my left took over the singing. And it was absolutely fantastic to see here, here it go. And so let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Southern Oregon Eagles. They'll go this way. A senior, 5'6", senior, Gabrielle Adkins. A 5'8", junior, Grace LaGrave. 5'8", junior, Taya Bertrand. A 5'10", sophomore, Kendra Dantoin. And a 6'2", senior, Megan LaCroix. For... Oconto, Aubrey Buhegger, the sophomore, 5'7", guard, or Nierenhausen, the senior, 5'7". The forwards, 5'8", sophomore, Jenna Hornblad, a 5'11", senior, Sydney Cook, and in the post, at 6'1", a junior, Mara Allen. So that is the way the starting lineup is going to go. Oconto, dressed in her home white with... Uh, Blue numerals, uh, well, gold numerals, and Southern Door will come up with the basketball right away. A quick shot up and missed by Dan Klein. O'Connell Hornblad with the rebound brings it back across the timeline. Looking in the corner for Sydney Cook. Cook for three. Off the back of the rim, doesn't go. Here comes Southern Door quickly back to the other way. The Eagles bringing it down is Atkins. Atkins in the corner to Bertrand, back up to Atkins, all the way, swinging all the way around, looking for a long three off the back of the rim. Missed by LaGrave, but Southern Dora will track the basketball back out. Working all the way around. Again, another three ball attempt, up and missed by Bertrand. Rebound inside. Pulled down by number 22, Dantoin. And Southern Door will take a quick 2 nothing lead. He'll come back the other way. Mara Allen puts up the shot. They finally got it inside. She does not make it. And Southern Door is coming back with the basketball. Quickly back the other side. The Eagles with the basketball. Working their way around again from the outside. Dan Twain for three. That's Southern Door trying to get caught from the outside and pull Oconto out of that zone. Sydney Cook with the basketball, player to player by, by Southern Door. Mirren House looking inside to the off the fingertips of Mara Allen. Southern Door quickly back the other way. Atkins with the shot doesn't go. Here comes O'Connell with the rebound quickly across the timeline, looking up for Sydney Cook. And it's going to be off Southern Door and out of bounds. Blue Devils with the inbounds, Lauren Nierenhausen to try to get it in. Nierenhausen, the basketball in the corner. Hornblad from block two is good, and Oconto ties this game off at two to two. Southern Door with the basketball, Atkins across the timeline, looking in the corner. Dan Twain, Dan Twain to lacrosse. Lacrosse with short baby hook, and she'll lay that one up and in for lacrosse. Comes up with her first two, and this game goes to Southern Door for two right now. 1550 remaining here in the half. Double team with Nierenhausen and a steal. Breakaway layup. Good by LaGrave. And then now Southern Door is up 6 2. Bullhager quickly across the timeline. 
and Southern Door are looking to double team somewhere. And especially if they can get into the corner, that means Southern Door will be able to hold Oconto. You know, use the sideline as a third person near and house with the basketball almost stripped away. And a steal by Bertrand, and she stepped on the line with the steal. O'Connell will get the basketball back in. Nierenhausen. Nierenhausen. And that's going to be a foul. It's going to be on Southern Door. As trying to steal the basketball is Taya Bertrand. And uh, she'll come up with the first foul as she kind of uh, ran into Hornblad, but that. Right now, here comes the near house and try to get it in. Mara Allen kept it near the sideline by Atkins, but uh, Mara Allen will come up with the basketball. Nierenhausen to Boo Hager in the corner to Hornblad, looking cross court. Cook trying to get it in, and it's to be off of Mara Allen. It was tipped by Atkins, but Mara Allen also got a fingertip on it. 15 minutes left to go here in the half. 6 2 Southern Door with the lead. Atkins quickly across the timeline, working left side into the hands of LaGrave. LaGrave looked to lacrosse. Forcing the shot up and in is Taya Bertrand. So Bertrand now with her first two points of the game. It is 8 2 Southern Door. Horn by lost the ball. High arcing three by Nierenhausen doesn't go. Southern Door with the rebound. Try to get it down, and the last minute, Mara Allen will save the basketball from Southern Door. Nierenhausen puts up a long three. A high arcing three doesn't go. Here is the drive. Lacrosse with the rebound. She gets fouled on the way up. They're going to hit a foul on Mara Allen. Russ questioned the call. Not that it was a foul, but they didn't think it was on Mara Allen. Across hits the first free throw. Southern door with a couple of subs in. And that includes Nicole Norton, one of them. 44 is uh, Haley Shimon. Shimon. In the corner, Cook. Oconto. 9 2 as they missed the second free throw. Looking for three. Buhager missed it. And Yernhausen will be on the line. It'll be Southern Door basketball. 9-2, Southern Door with the lead right now. Final of the game tied up at 2, Southern Door on a 7-0 run. Atkins looking inside, lacrosse. Really long shot, up and miss by Bertrand. Looking for three, shot blocked from behind. Gabriel Atkins gets the rebound after the block shot. Quickly across the timeline. Long inside, lacrosse, puts up the shot, doesn't go. Mar Allen down with the rebound. Buhager quickly across the timeline. Buhager to Harnblad, forcing the shot, and the foul is going to go on Southern Door. Foul to be on number 23, Megan Lacrosse, her first personal. Second team foul. Helen Sir Whitey come into the contest. Hornblad for two, and that'll break a 7 0 run. Now 8 9 3. 
Southern Door. With the lead, Hornblatt, with the second free throw. Up around the rim doesn't go. Mara Allen over the back, but she gets fouled on the way up. And the foul is going to be on number three. Mara Allen to the line for two. And Gabrielle Atkins, her first personal. And now it's team number three. Mara Allen, if you shoot two. So far, General Hornblad has scored all three points for Oconto. Higher can shower back off the back of the rim, doesn't go. And she'll get one more. 9 3, Southern Door. Out the front of the rim. That time, that is Shooter's touch as it bounds around and drops in. 9 4. Right now, Southern Door with the lead. Atkins with the basketball. Looking inside. Across, taking a little bit of a breather. Hornblad steals the basketball. Shannon was quickly across the timeline to Nierenhausen. Nierenhausen back outside to Whitey. Back out to Jenna. Jenna to Ellen. Through her hands, trying to save it. Stepped out of bounds. Went through her hands, went out of bounds. So the ball will get it back. 12 and a half left to go here in the first half. 9 4 Southern Door. Atkins with the dribble across the timeline. Looking for Bertrand. Does get it to Bertrand. Back outside. As they work it inside, Schmon, Schmon, looking for three on the back part of the rim, doesn't go. Jacqueline Atkins, and it's going to go off of Mar Allen on the bounce. It's on the door to get the basketball in. Schmon all the way working around with the dribble. Looking for a long two, doesn't go. Mara Allen down with the rebound, she walked with it. Yeah, but that was, the fans don't like it. What what happened was, is Mara Allen was flat-footed and then rolled over her, on top of her toes. So instead of being on her flat feet, she was on her tiptoes, and that's automatic to travel. I don't like it, but but that's just the way it is. Twelve minutes left to go here in the half. Atkins for three, and finally from long downtown, she makes the three, and Southern Door now up twelve four. O'Connell with the basketball. Cook wants a three from downtown, and she's got it. So Sydney Cook gets her first first three, and it's now 15. That uh, should be 12 7. Megan Lacrosse will come back with her bucket quickly as they really get it down. It's 14. 14 7 should be the score. Well, yeah, it should be 14-7. Clock has 12-7. Looking back door. For the basketball right now, Atkins. That's going to be Jacqueline Atkins. Trying to get it inside to LaGrave. Stolen by Mara Allen. O'Connell with a chance to cut into the lead. It's 14-7. Southern door with the lead. Just under 10 minutes. Just under 11 minutes. And a foul is going to come up on number 22, Dan Toyn. We're going to call Megan Lacrosse. No, no, it's 22. So, Danton, 
That's her first personal. You know, I had that right. So, I, you know, being, being a referee, I've been able to see the game from, from this angle and um, just see what they're calling ahead of time. Tend to, attempt to steal by Dantoin, and it goes out of bounds off her fingertips. O'Connell will get it back. On the right side of the basketball hoop, but on the sideline, looking inside, has it to Hornblad, looking for Cross. The Cross steps in front, steals the basketball. Atkins quickly across the timeline. Atkins to Jacqueline Atkins. Long two up and missed. Atkins down with the rebound. Gabrielle shot does not go. And Lacrosse will finish off with the bucket. And timeout, Oconto. The Blue Devils with the timeout will step out as well. Back right after this on your home high school sports, WLCO Stereo FM. We all want to be self-sufficient, whether it's fixing projects at home, whether it's changing the oil on the car, or maybe even keeping your checkbook balance. But when it comes to income taxes, trust me, you don't want to do it yourself. You don't want to do it with someone that just does it three months a year as a little sideline job. You need to work with a proactive 24-7 CPA firm that can actually get your results and keep more money in your pocket. Pick up the phone today. 715-735-0583. 715-735-0583. Back here in Ocanto, $7, 16 to 7 lead, 10 19 left to go here in the half. O'Connell calling up their first timeout, trying to get some stuff rearranged because of what Southern Door has been able to do. They have been uh, very good at half half-court trap. They allow you to come across the half-court line and then they'll trap you. Right now they're on a full-court press. And they will will come with a man-to-man full-court press. But, like I said, if they get across half-court, like now, there's the trap. Deal. On the breakaway back the other way. Layup shot, no loose rebound by Southern Door. The Graves missed the layup. They'll get it inside Lacrosse. Back outside Atkins for three. She did not hit the, not even hit the rim. Atkins did not even hit the rim. Nine fifty six remaining here. Sydney Cook to get it in to Hornblack. Hornblack quickly trying to get it across the timeline. To Buhager, back to Cook on the drive. Mara back outside Buhager for three. Doesn't go. Cook down with the rebound. And then Sidney Cook will lay it up in. Cook now is five for Oconto. Southern Door off 16 to 9. Southern Door with the basketball. Looking inside Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Soft little spin move. Lays it up and in. Cross now with nine. Oconto down nine, 18 to nine. Hornblad with the basketball. They're bringing it across the timeline and just overthrew. Even a 6 2 Mara Allen couldn't go up and get that one. Nierenhausen coming in. Sydney Cook to sit down. Oconto trailing 18 to nine. Southern Door with the basketball. Well, Ocado in a 1 3 1 half court trap. Cross court, and the foul is going to go on Ellen Sir Whitey on the reach. So Sir Whitey comes up with her first personal, team number two. Southern Door to inbound the basketball. Under nine minutes left to go in the half, 18 9. Southern Door with the lead. Atkins with the basketball, working down the corner. And move by lacrosse, and she lost it. They got it into the corner to Bertrand. Bertrand got it to lacrosse. Lacrosse tried to do a spin move and to dribble down and just couldn't ha- couldn't hang on to the basketball. Nierenhausen with the uh, high dribble. Bertrand to get it in for Southern Door. The end of the hand of Dantoin. Back to the grave. 
across court, looking for dance lane, and it was kind of tipped. Aaron Howe's going to come up with the seal. O'Connell with the seal, cross court, Boo Hager. 18 footer, off the back of the rim, hit the front of the rim, goes straight up, and a jump ball. Off the possession, O'Connell. Got a boatload of players coming in for Southern Door. Coming back in is Haley Schmoen. Also coming back in will be Jacqueline Atkins. And they'll get into the corner. Tamara Allen back outside. Hornblad. Nierhausen looking inside. Short block, short shot, kind of tapped by lacrosse. Here comes Southern Door back the other way. Eagles by nine right now. They doubles up O'Connell, 18 to nine for three from the corner. Shot no. And missed by Bertrand. Here comes O'Connell back the other way. Southern door, one of whatever for three point attempts. Almost a steal by Lacrosse. O'Connell with the basketball. Looking inside, Mara Allen. Mara Allen, and she got bodied on the way up. She's out of control, but. Across coming up with her second personal. Well, the foul's going to be on number five. Go to Nicole Norton comes up with her first personal. Well, I thought that was, okay, it came from behind. Mara Allen with the men. And Lacrosse coming out. Mara Allen now with her second point on the free throw, 18-10. And then she hit both of them. Puck coming in, Mara Allen to sit down. As Mara Allen now has her third point of the game, 18-11, Southern Door with the lead. Shot put up and missed, and now Nierenhausen coming up the foul on the rebound. First shot missed by Nicole Norton. Gabriel Adkins will come back in. Sitting down will be Dan Toy. 7.15 remaining. And Adkins pass tried to get wide. Oh, oh it's just Shimon with the team offensive team foul as an illegal screen is was called. I thought it was out of bounds. I didn't realize the the, uh, the down referee made the call on the drive. Horn flat shot no, and now. Foul on Southern Door on the reach. And if you got number five, Nicole Norton, that's your second personal. Team number seven will be a one and one for Oconto. So why you shoot one and one? Southern Door is going to come in with Lacrosse and Bertrand, Shimon and Norton both to sit down. Sir Whitey's first free throw. Off the back of the rim, off the front, then drops in. 18-12. Southern North lead, cut to six. Shimon got a second. Then she hits both of them. So Sir Whitey will sit down with a pair of free throws. And Oconto now on a four-point run. Down 18-13. Southern Door with the basketball. Gabriel Atkins across court to Bertrand to the grave, looking for the grave. Back up on top. Atkins to the grave. The grave on the drive, dishing it outside to Bertrand. Bertrand back around to Jacqueline Atkins. 
And Gabrielle down the lane, running one-hander, puts it up and in. She now has five. Southern Door 20 to 13 with the lead. Here comes O'Connell back across the timeline. And now a foul on the reach from Gabrielle Atkins. On the reach. And it's going to be her second person. Key number eight. So, so right now, O'Connor with a one and one. Gabriel Atkins sit down. Kendra Dantoin to sit to come back in. Blue Hager for two. A one and one. Sorry, missed the first one. Here comes Southern Door quickly back across the timeline. Jacqueline inside lacrosse. Lacrosse looking outside for three by Dantoy missed it. Southern Door just absolutely cold from the outside. Hornblad is uh, it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, right now went off Hornblad, then it went off the Southern Door. And then back off of Hornblatt. Southern door with the basketball looking inside. Lacrosse. They gotta work that ball inside. If they really want to do some damage in this game, they've got to get that ball to Lacrosse. Lacrosse now with eleven here and a half. Get that nine. And Southern Door up twenty two thirteen. Southern door with the attempt to steal, kick the ball out of bounds on him, and O'Connell will get it back. Nierenhausen, a little slow, but got it in to Buhager, back to Nierenhausen. Nierenhausen baseline on the drive, reverse layup, and she laid it up in the end. So, Lauren Nierenhausen now with her first two, and Southern door has a 22 15 lead inside lacrosse. Boy, lacrosse again had to. Had the opportunity to score on the drive layup. Shot put out by LeGrave, didn't go. Here comes O'Connell back the other way. Buhager up to Hornblad, running one hander, doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Bertrand. Taya Bertrand is quickly across the timeline. In the corner to Atkins. No, first it's going to be Dan Swain. And be off of Gabriel. Gabrielle Atkins to come back in. And Jacqueline is to sit down. O'Connell with the basketball. Stolen by Southern Door. The grave on the layup. Good for two. Southern Door on the full court. And that's her fourth. It is now 24-15. Southern Dora with the lead. And again, another kick. As O'Connell tries to get it down for Bertrand with the kick. 4.29 remaining here in the half. 24-15. Southern Dora with the lead. Mara Allen in the backcourt gets it to Nierenhausen and bring it across the timeline. Nierenhausen looking in the corner to Hornblatt. Hornblatt inside to Mara Allen. Spin move. Nice little jump shot, just short. Here comes Southern Door back the other way. Bertrand quickly across the timeline. In the corner to Dan Twain for three. Boy, they're launching him long range. Oh, Gabrielle open, doesn't take the three. Trying to work it back around. Gabrielle this time will take the three. Shot no. Lacrosse down with the rebound. Too hard. Mar Allen down with the rebound. Quickly. A little slow on the on the on the pass down quarter short, Gabrielle Atkins with the steal and the bucket from the elbow. From the right elbow, Atkins now with seven. And seven door, 26 point for the lead. The basketball, the foul is going to be on Mara Allen. Oh, 
Council with the timeout. 3.23 left to go here in the half. Southern Bar with a 26-15 lead. Back right after this on your own high school sports. WSCO Stereo off the house. If you don't know everything about insurance, you'll profit from the knowledge and experience at the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. You'll benefit from their thorough analysis of the insurance that you really need. They all recommend the companies and policies that are the best for you. At the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, they specialize in complete coverage of all your insurance needs. Call the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. Back here as we get close to the halftime, 323 remaining in the half, 2615 Southern Door with the lead. O'Connell is doing okay. They're turning the ball over a little bit here. But what's holding O'Connell in this game right now, honestly, is that Southern Door is not shooting that well. They're one or 12 in three-point attempts. Mara Allen coming up with her second personal, by the way. Free throw by Dan Toyne. Missed the first one. Mara Allen with her second, team number four. And she'll make the second one. So 27-15, Southern Door. Hornblatt quickly across the timeline. Shot blocked. But Mara Allen with the rebound. And we'll put it back in. Mara now with, with five points in the contest. It is 27-17, Southern Door. And O'Connell with the steal. Mara Allen gets it off to Hornblatt. She's going to quickly across the timeline. And there's another kick. And Southern Door to come in with some subs. 444 and 24 coming in. Five is Nicole Norton, 24 is Jacqueline Atkins and Julie Shimon from 44 for Southern Door. 2.45 remaining here in the half, Southern Door by 10. 27-17. Farnblad looking inside. Mara Allen double team. Shimon with the steal. Captain Atkins quickly across the timeline. Atkins locks on a three. She walks down the court and locks up on a three. In and out. Here comes O'Connell. Mara Allen down with the rebound. Gets it off to Boohager quickly across to Cook. Cook has the only three for O'Conto. Cook looking inside for Mara Allen. And it's going to be off of Gabrielle Atkins and out of bounds. 27-17, Southern Door. Right now by 10, two minutes left to go with 10 seconds. Getting into Mara Allen, puts up the shot, too hard. Rolled off the back of the rim. Here comes Gabriel Atkins back the other way. Atkins cross court, looking down the corner, Shimon inside. Across, a little too hard. Boy, she had some beautiful shooting earlier. Last two, just forced them. In the corner, Nierenhausen on the drive. And right now, here comes Southern Door after a block. Cross court. Three ball attempt off the back of the rim. No. Missed by Norton. Nicole Norton. Again, Southern Door just struggling from the outside. O'Connell struggling because of their shooting. Bucket's going to count and a foul. It should be on Shimon. Bucket will count. And that's her second personal. Team number nine, Sydney Cook, now is seven. It is now 27 19. Southern Door 
and that free throw will rim and go in. It is Sydney's eighth point of the game. 27-20, Southern Door right now by seven. And Shimon back inside, dishing it back out. Looking at Atkins, tackling Atkins, spin move. Doing it under the elbow layup by Shimon. And Southern Door back up by nine. At 29-20. Oconto trying to come across the full court press. Does break the press. Nierenhausen. Hornblad. Trying to look inside. Nothing opening up. Trying to steal it. Quickly up the other way on the layup. Round the rim and drops in Nicole Norton. Wow. Was well, not a pretty shot, <laughs> but it does drop in. That's her first two. Six seconds remaining. Aaron Allen on the drive, lays it up too hard. Mara Allen puts up the rebound. It doesn't go. The halftime is here. We'll take that short break. Come back right after this. Thirty-one twenty halftime. Back right after this. You know, high school sports. WCO stereo film. Tired of running to the bank for every little check? You can save a trip to the bank with the convenience of mobile check deposit from the Stevenson National Bank and Trust. Snapping a picture with our app is as safe as depositing checks at one of our seven locations. No more rushing to the bank before closing to make those important deposits. Visit snbt.com to enroll for mobile check deposit today. The Stevenson National Bank and Trust, 101 Bray Lake Way in O'Connell, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Back here at halftime right now, 20, 31-20, Southern Door with the lead over Oconto. Oconto is in this game. Matter of fact, they, they could be, if they could stop from turning over the ball, being smart with the, ba- with the basketball, they've got a good team that can score. Get it inside tomorrow, Allen. And, but right now, that's what's keeping, that's why this lead is at 11. The other reason why the lead's only at 11 because Southern Door is one of 13 in three-point attempts here in the first half. They've got some open looks that just haven't dropped. We'll be back right after this on your own high school sports WLCO's Carry Up Carry Up Now. Partly cloudy skies tonight with a low temperature of 24 degrees and winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10. Friday looks sunny with a high temperature of 43 and northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Saturday, sunshine with a high temperature of 55. seconds. On Sunday, we'll see partly sunny skies with a high temperature of 44. Monday, a good chance of showers with a high temperature of 46. And for Tuesday, partly sunny skies with a high temperature of 36 degrees. That's your latest forecast for WOCO Radio. I'm meteorologist Ray Miller. Coming up tomorrow night, we'll have O'Connell Falls girls versus Menominee, Michigan. And then we'll see O'Connell boys for the first time on December 5th as they host Marinette. We'll be back at our halftime show right now, 32-31-20. Southern Oral with the lead over O'Connell. Back right after this on your high school sports of the Stereo FM. Holidays are a time of joy. Don't let money worries get in the way. Want a stress-free holiday? Call NEW Credit Union at 800-924-1250 and ask about our holiday loan special. That's 800-924-1250. Rates as low as 4.99% annual percentage rate for a 12-month term. Maximum amount, $2,500. Our loan specialists work hard to help you get the loan that fits your needs. Rates subject to credit worthiness. Stop at any one of our locations or you can apply online at newcu.org. Example of repayment would be a monthly payment of about $8.56 per $100 borrowed. All loans subject to approval. Federally insured by the NCUA. With offices in Oconto, Surrey, Oconto Falls, and Pestigal, we are federally insured by the NCUA. Membership eligibility required. This holiday season, remember, we can help you own it. At 24-7 Well and Pump Service, we mean just that. Water will be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407 and a licensed professional will come out to your site. Whether it is a water system installation, repair, well inspection, or install underground water lines, they'll be there. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407. 
2407. We're in the Ocano, Ocano Falls area, Yellow Pages. 24-7 well and pump service. Fireside Road, Ocano Falls. Hi folks, this is David from Wits Piggly Wiggly in Ocano Falls. Are you sick of rising gas prices? Well, at Wits we have a solution. When you purchase qualified groceries with blue shelf stickers, and there's hundreds throughout our store, you build up discounts for 15 gallons of gas on your club card. Then, when you fill up at our pig stop pumps, just scan your card and watch the gas price drop. So scan your card, shop the blue stickers, and save money on gas at the Pig in Ocano Falls. The Big Ten Conference today named Wisconsin coach Paul Chris the consensus Big Ten coach of the year after a 12-0 regular season. I'm Bill Scott with sports. Chris shared the honor with Penn State's James Franklin last season. This year, he is the consensus winner. He's the first back-to-back -back winner since Gary Barnett of Northwestern in 1995 and 1996. Wisconsin running back Jonathan Taylor named the Big Ten's Rookie of the Year today, and senior tight end Troy Fumagalli named the Big Ten Tight End of the Year. Columbus Dispatch reporting today that Buckeyes quarterback J.T. Barrett underwent arthroscopic surgery on his right knee Sunday to remove the piece of torn meniscus, which afflicted him in that win at Michigan. Barrett expected a started quarterback for the Buckeyes in the Big Ten title game on Saturday night. Green Bay Packers have not only struggled since Aaron Rodgers broke his collarbone, they've also been not very good at home. Mike McCarthy's preached the need to win home games, but his Packers enter Sunday's game against Tampa Bay with three straight losses at Lambeau. Well, it's kind of hard to lump them all together, but trust me, I mean, we've been very successful here at Lambeau, and I could tell you there's not a worse feeling in my coaching career walking into that tunnel you know, after a loss. So trust me, it, it hits all of us. You know, we have an incredible fan base. We totally appreciate the specialty of Lambeau Field and, and the, the importance of not only winning here, but playing well here. Packers didn't practice in pads today like they normally do on a Thursday by rule NFL teams can only get three padded workouts in the final six weeks Packers deciding to go without pads this week there's Thursday night action in the NFL tonight the Washington Redskins visit the Dallas Cowboys a win for either team gets them back to 500 Bucks close out their four game road trip tonight at Portland Bucks two and one through the first three on the trip and the Big Ten is two and eleven in 13 Big Ten ACC challenge games this year They'll try to salvage the final contest at home tonight. It should be a good one. Fifth-ranked Notre Dame is in East Lansing to take on third-ranked Michigan State. Bill Scott, Wisconsin Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live at the National Butt-Out Finals. A.J. Langer is all fired up, and there he goes. It's out. He put his butt out in 2.6 seconds. Glory is with A.J. Lori? A.J., how did you get your butt out so quick? Well, I learned the hard way. I burned the house down. If you smoke, put it out all the way, every time. Smoking is the number one cause of preventable home fire deaths. Check out usfa.dhs.gov slash smoking. A message from the U.S. Fire Administration and firefighters everywhere. Hey, Russell Wilson here, and I know how important exercise is. It's essential. It's essential. With Play 60, United Way and the NFL are helping kids stay active and play at least 60 minutes a day. Healthy kids. Healthy kids. But what this place needs is you. To donate or volunteer, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Because great things happen when we live united. Donate, donate. You guys can do that every time? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. We've heard it time and time again. You want local loan decisions and servicing, faster turnaround, and answers to your questions handled right here in Oconto. At the Stevenson National Bank and Trust, we've got all of those bases covered, from local loan decisions and on-time closings to great rates and fair terms. Visit me, Bob Schwartz, at the Stevenson National Bank and Trust. I've helped many people, and now I'd like to help you with your next loan. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Holidays are a time of joy. Don't let money worries get in the way. Want a stress-free holiday? Call NEW Credit Union at 800-924-1250 and ask about our holiday loan special. That's 800-924-1250. Rates as low as 4.99% annual percentage rate for a 12-month term. Maximum amount, $2,500. Our loan specialists work hard to help you get the loan that fits your needs. Rate subject to credit worthiness. Stop at any one of our locations or you can apply online at newcu.org. Example of repayment would be a monthly payment of about $8.56 per $100 borrowed. All loans subject to approval. Federally insured by the NCUA. With offices in Oconto, Zurich, Oconto Falls, and Pistigo. 
We are federally insured by the NCUA. Membership eligibility required. This holiday season, remember, we can help you own it. I loved playing high school sports. I loved the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, all the pageantry, and I wanted to keep playing. But I graduated. No colleges called, and neither did the pros. So, to stay close to the game I loved, I decided to become a high school official. You know, a referee. When I played high school sports, I learned the importance of integrity, good sportsmanship, and respect for the rules. Now, as a high school official, I get to help model these same values to others. Maybe the colleges and the pros didn't call, but the kids in Wisconsin did. And now, I'm enjoying the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, and all the pageantry of high school sports all over again. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. So Southern Door will take the basketball to start the second half here as Oconto trailing this one 31-20. Right now, they'll get it inside and a walk on the cross. As Mar Allen really stops the back. Here comes O'Connell back across the timeline. Sidney Cook looking inside. Hornblad shot partially blocked by Megan Latron. Quickly back the other way. Pass one off the back of Warren near now. It's a three ball by Gabrielle. No, but a the grave will put it in for two. And Southern Door. Grave down at six as a 33 20 lead and a steal. On the breakaway, Dan Twain looking back outside has it to Bertrand. Gabriel Atkins, way out. A grave, looking inside to Lacrosse. Lacrosse, left hand, too hard. And it'd be off of and off of Bertrand and out of bounds. O'Connell will get it back. Quickly across Mara Allen to Hornblad. A three on three break. Looking inside the bar, Allen. Driving baseline, pocket count, and a foul is going to go on lacrosse. So Megan lacrosse comes up with her second personal. And that's team number one, Mara Allen, now with her seventh point of the game. And she'll miss that free throw. And right now, console trail is 33-22. A three-point basket by the Grave finally gets one from the outside and Southern Door. The only second three-pointer of the game. The Grave now has nine, five and a half. 36 and 22. And Southern Door with a steal. Long two off by LaGrave. And LaGrave has gotten red hot here in the second half, hitting three in a row. Right now, 38 22 Southern Door. And Southern Door, as O'Connell tries to get it in, double team Mara Allen. And they come up with the, with the ball. For, and a three, three ball. Hit by they have Bertrand and Southern Door now up 41 to 22. We'll count with a timeout. We'll step out right after this on your own high school sports. WLCO Stereo FM. 
We all want to be self-sufficient, whether it's fixing projects at home, whether it's changing the oil on the car, or maybe even keeping your checkbook balance. But when it comes to income taxes, trust me, you don't want to do it yourself. You don't want to do it with someone that just does it three months a year as a little sideline job. You need to work with a proactive 24-7 CPA firm that can actually get your results and keep more money in your pocket. Pick up the phone today. 715-735-0583. Forty-one twenty-two. Southern Door with the lead. We've got one basketball game scheduled already completed here. Actually happened in Bolliard, Colorado, California, where Milwaukee Kings took an 83-20 win over Bullard, California. O'Connell with the basketball trailing, 41-22. Shot put up by O'Connell, so it doesn't go. Cook down with the rebound. Shot blocked by Lacrosse. Here comes Southern Door, quickly back the other way, looking inside to Lacrosse. Posting up, and Mara Allen. So Mara Allen coming up with her third. And team number one across to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. Twelve points now for the cross. They make that thirteen. One Sir White to come in. Bobby Bruhager to sit down. 43-22, Southern Door by 21. Other Milwaukee uh, men. Here comes a shot by Sidney Cook. Doesn't go. Milwaukee Country Day over Milwaukee Juno. 60-34 for a final. And three fall. All of a sudden, what they couldn't shoot in the first half, they're lights out in the second half, as I think they missed only one shot of foul. They're going to go on... Yeah, foul to man number 12. And Taya Bertrand with her second personal, second team foul. But Southern Door right now is on a 10-0 or 10-0 run, a 13-0 run. They're up 46-22. 14 minutes up to go here in the game. O'Connell with the basketball. All right, Allen and on Sir Whitey with the steal, with the travel. The basketball right now. Shot for three by LaGrave doesn't go. Rebound by Hornblatt. Here comes O'Connell back the other way. Mr. Whitey back out to Mara Allen cross court. As right now Sidney Cook playing inside. Shot blocked by Southern Door. The Eagles back with the basketball right now. Looking for three. Bertrand, Gabriel with the rebound. And Southern Door, we give them three shots. Megan Lacrosse will make the third one. She now has 15. 48-22, Southern Door with the lead. And right now, we'll go foul on Southern Door. Falls on 22. That's Kendra Anton. Anton. And that's her second personal. Mara Allen to sit down. Also sitting down is Kendra Danton. Thirteen oh six left to go in the game. Southern Door by 26. Shot put out by... Jenna Hornblad, that breaks up a 15-0 run. So Hornblad, with her first two of the second half, she has 
She had the first three. Now she's got five in the ball game for O'Connell, but now not her first in the second half, the first in a long time. Caddy Gehring into the contest. The Sydney Cup for three. Cup now with 11. It is now 48 27. Southern Door by 21. Adkins looking inside. Across back door. Shimon and the foul on, on Oconto. Hornblad comes up with her first personal. Team number two. Shimon to shoot two. First free throws off the back of the rim and does not go. She still gets one more. Entering the contest is Jacqueline Atkins. Here comes the next free throw. She misses both of them. Oconto tracks the basketball down. Chance to cut under 20 here. O'Connell with the basketball. Nearing House looking inside. Gehring. Gehring shot. Blocked by Lacrosse. Under 12 minutes left to go in the contest. Across the basketball. In the corner. Looking for three off the front of the rim. No. Gabriel Adkins down with the rebound. And we got to jump ball. O'Connell alternate possession. Schmoen sit down. As back in, Nicole Norton. Looking inside. Shot put up by Gearing. Doesn't go. Here comes O'Connell back. Or Southern Door back the other way. Real quick. Layup shot doesn't go for Bertrand. Loose ball. Still fighting for Bertrand comes up with it. Atkins. Jacqueline Atkins. Loose ball again. People are scrambling all over. Southern Door comes up with the basketball. Jacqueline Atkins could even hit the rim. Inside lacrosse. Following Oconto. Abby Gearing. Well, Abby Gearing comes up with her first personal. Team number three, Shimon in and sitting down will be the cross. They'll get it in to Gabriela Atkins. Nobody else found her, and she puts it up and in. 51-27. Southern Door with the lead inside. Fox doesn't go. Fighting her way down. Here comes Jacqueline to Gabrielle. Feeling it, she's now got her third three-point bucket. She's got 16. Well, the doors already got 23 in the period. Ten and a half left to go in the game. Southern Dora with the steal, 54-28, 54-27. Shot put up and missed. Gearing down with the rebound. Here comes... Now back the other way. Lay out a shot by Hornblatt, fouled by Bertrand. Bertrand comes up with her, her third, second here in the half. Hornblatt. First free throw off the back of the rim. Missed it. Bertrand to sit down as the grave comes back in. Mar Allen also comes in as Sydney Cook sits down. Next free throw. Nothing but the middle of the net. 54 28. Southern Door right now. By a bunch. Gabriel Atkins across the court. Southern Door has pretty much gone deep in the bench, and right now Mara Allen comes up with her fourth. Hey, 
Shimon to shoot two. First free throw is good. Shot the first one, and she'll get the next one. 55 28. Southern door. And she'll hit both of them. 56 28. Southern door doubling up on Oconto. 25 to 8 in this half alone. Look in the corner. Ellen Sir Whitey had the open three. Doesn't take it. Dribbles back outside. Hornblad wants the three off the back of the rim. Doesn't go. Yarning comes down with the rebound. Got the bucket. And she goes to the line for one. Shimon comes up with her third personal. She'll sit down. Sydney Cook to come in. Ellen Sir Whitey to sit down. Across to come back in. 56-30. Oconto down by 26. And Gehring will hit her first free throw. 56-31. Southern door. LaGrave. Working back around. Against the high back door. Lacrosse. Jacqueline Atkins, far. Megan Lacrosse now with 17. 58 31, Southern Door. O'Connell with the basketball. Kelly Westerbart in to be off the hands. Uh, number 24, Jacqueline Atkins, and out of bounds. They'll get it in. Allie gets it. Put the dribble. Spin back out. Cross court. Short jumper by Hattie. Off the front of the rim. Doesn't go. Back the other way. Jacqueline Atkins. Right around Jenna Hornblatt. Plays it up. Doesn't go. Loose ball. Hornblatt comes down with it. O'Connell back the other way in a hurry. Hornblatt. Bumped it by her own teammate. Sydney Cook. Short jumper. Too hard. Grave slows it down a little bit, brings it across the timeline. Jacqueline inside, back out. Gabrielle Atkins, shot doesn't go for three. Get Gearing down with the rebound, formed by across the timeline. Put the Halley in the corner. Inside, Damara Allen. Hook shot, banker in for two. Mara with nine. 58 33, Southern Door with the lead. A grave for three off the back of the rim. No. Hornblad with the rebound. Quickly back down. Cook. Cook to the baseline. And, Le- and uh, Gabrielle Atkins comes up with her third. <laughs> That's team number six. O'Connell. Callie, she gets it in to Nierenhausen. Nierenhausen in. Tamara Allen, her shot too hard off the back of the rim. Bertrand quickly across the timeline. Antoine, Bertrand. Gabrielle down in the corner to LaGrave. LaGrave on the drive. Cross court, hit the line. Base line, out of bounds it goes. Southern Door turns it back over to Oconto. 7.36 remaining here in the contest. 58.33, Southern Door right now by 25. Jenna Hornblatt quickly across the timeline. Nierenhausen, jump off. Southern Door, alternate possession. 7.23 remaining. Gabrielle brings it across the timeline with the dribble to the grave in the corner. Inside, lacrosse. Did a nice little spin move. Too hard. 
Bertram down with the rebound. Atkins inside, lacrosse again, and she'll lay it up and in. So Megan lacrosse now with 19. 11 in the first, 8 here in the second, Southern Door. 60-33 with the lead. I think 63 was the highest Southern Door has gotten this year. 67, I should say. You got a chance to break that one. Near now it's looking in for Mara Allen. Stolen away. Bertrand with the bait breakaway. Nice little jump stop, but blocked by Cook. Now we're going to foul on Southern Door on the reach. Danton comes up with her third personal. That's team number seven, so we're going to get the one and one. Other girls' games that have uh, completed. There is none. It was the only two that we had, and one was played out in California. The Nike Central Valley Showdown, Clovis West High School, Fresno, California. Armblad, free throw. Off the side of the rim, doesn't go, goes out of bounds, so the door will get it. With six and a half left to go here in the contest. Southern Door with a 60-33 lead. Pantone inside. Across too hard. Boy, too hard. On the layup. Looking inside. Lacrosse is going to send Mara Allen to the line. And for Megan Lacrosse, that is going to be her third. And that's team number eight. So Mara Allen to the line for one and one. Mara. Free throw around the rim and does drop in. Here comes the next free throw. That one rims and does drop in. Mario Allen now with 11. Gabrielle Adkins puts up the shot around the rim, doesn't go, gets her own rebound. Turns the shot, does not go. Schmoen with the, with the rebound, does not go. Mario Allen fights for it and it comes up with it. 60. 35. Southern Door. 25 right now. Five and a half, and now a foul on number three. And that's Gabrielle Hatchett. That's her fourth. Team number nine. Lauren Nierenhaus in the shoot. 1 1, next foul by Southern Door. We'll send Oconto for two. Free throw miss. And now there is a double bonus on the reach by Shimon. Shimon comes up with her fourth. Southern Door has got themselves a little bit of foul trouble. They've got points to play with, but. Uh, as Sydney Cook hits the first one. Cook now with 12. She leads O'Connell. And the next one, she hits both of them. 60-37. Southern Door right now with the lead. And here comes Southern Door. O'Connell with a steal. Southern Door will get it back. Quickly back down. LaGrave in the corner. Grave with the dribble. Back outside. Shimon. Trying to pull people out. Looking for three off the front of the rim. Saw that one. Hornblad with, with the rebound. Have the miss by Jackie Atkins. Back the other way. In the corner for Nierenhausen. Doesn't go. Hook over the back. 
on the reach. That's O'Connell's 15. For the half, for Sydney Cook, that's her first. Bertrand to sit down, coming back in is number five, Nicole Norton. She's got two fouls, by the way, too. Get it down to LaGrave. LaGrave with the dribble back outside. Norton. Schmoen looks for the three, doesn't take it. Now it's going to take it on the drive. Running one hander, good by Schmoen. She's got six. 62, 37. Southern Nora back up by 25. Hornblade inside. Mara Allen backs down the cross, and she'll dump it in. Now we're now we're trading basket. Mara Allen now with 13. Tonto with 39 in the game. Back the other way, looking for a long three, missed by Shimon. Jacqueline Atkins with a shot doesn't go. Mara Allen down with the rebound as Lacrosse rebounded, and her shot was short. Looking inside, Mara Allen, double pumps, and jump off. O'Connell will get an ultra possession. Elizabeth Suarez to come in, and so does Dantoin. Suarez coming in for Thorn Nierenhausen. Trying to get it in. They'll get it in. Hager in the corner. Shot no. Cook back outside for Hornblatt. Inside Mara Allen. And the foul is going to go on Dan Toyn. And Dan Toyn comes up with number four. Coach for Southern Door is probably going to have, to have much of a choice. He's going to have this up pretty quick. Mara Allen with a double bonus. First free throw is good. Sixty-two forty, and then sixty-two forty-one. As she nails both of them. Mar Allen with fifteen. Sixty-two forty-one. Southern Door by twenty-one. Jacqueline, timeout. Southern Door. Eagles with a timeout. We'll step out here as well on your home by support. WCO, Stereo FM. If you don't know everything about insurance, you'll profit from the knowledge and experience at the O'Connell Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown O'Connell Falls. You'll benefit from the thorough analysis of the insurance that you really need. They all recommend the companies and policies that are the best for you. At the O'Connell Falls Insurance Center, they specialize in complete coverage of all your insurance needs. Call the O'Connell Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown O'Connell Falls. I'm back here from O'Connell Falls. Blue Devils in the first half, 7-10 and free throws. Southern Door, 2-4. of four. Let you know. Southern Door. Antoine to get it in. Gabrielle, Allie Whispart in her face, gets it inside to Megan Lacrosse. She'll put it up and in. Megan now at 21. And Southern Door, 64 41 with the lead. Allie to Elizabeth. Three minutes left to go here. Sir Whitey in. And the foul is going to go on Dantoin. And she will foul out of the contest. So she fouls out of the contest. Mara Allen to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. Mara Allen in the first hand is five. She's got 11 here in the second half. Now 16 in the contest. Missed that one. 
Mr. Whitey and a late call. Sixty four twenty forty two. Kenny Shimon will fall out of the ball game as well. Well that coach is gonna have to sub because he's got no other choice. On the reach. Mr. Whitey. First free throw miss. Helen with Two free throws in the first half, and she missed both of them. And then she'll make this one. She's three of four. 64 43, Southern Door with the lead. Southern Door trying to get it in. Lacrosse outside, Gabrielle for two, and that's her first two point bucket of the half. She's got 18 in the contest. 66. Okay, two points out the door. Needs two points to break the season high for the year. And O'Connell missed the shot. Here comes Southern North back the other way. 66. 43. LaGrave. To lacrosse. Shot doesn't go. Cut down with the rebound. O'Connell with the basketball. Cook to the baseline. Been looking for. And uh, right now, jump off. Southern Door will get it. And guys, basketball. Cook to sit down. Carrying back in. Won't walk center. A 62-15 win over Weston. And Martin Luther, 61-49 over Pius Catholic. Looking in the corner. Jacqueline back outside Bertrand. Bertrand up to Gabriel. Gabriel Atkins to Bertrand inside Lacrosse. Lacrosse shot too hard. Mar Allen down with the rebound. Minute and a half left to go in the contest. Soares quickly down. Sir Whitey inside Mar Allen. Double pumps and she puts it up and in. Mara Allen has her average. Just over 17. She's got 18. 62. 66-45. Southern door by 11. The Eagles way out. Trying to get in lacrosse. And I think they're going to run the clock out now. Inside. Lacrosse back outside. Gabrielle. Southern door. Running the final minute off. Baseline drive. Fouls. I'm going Hallie. Hallie Westerbart comes up with her first personal foul. Cat yeah, sitting on the, on the bench. On, as team number six. In the corner. And Southern Door is passing the ball around Norton. And they're going to play pass and caught. Looking for the free range layup with 25 seconds remaining. And now foul on Ellen Sir Whitey. Now they're going to shoot one and one. That's the second personal. Team number seven. Bertrand to the line. For one and one. She is the first one. It gets the season high. 67-45. And that sets the season high for Southern Door at 68. 68-45, Southern Door right now. 12 seconds remaining. Sir Whitey, get it inside. Mara Allen back outside. Suarez for three off the front of the rim. No. And Bertrand with one second remaining. 
fires it up at the buzzer. It rims and does not go in. It's 68-45, Mother Nora with a win over Oconto. Back right after this on your home support, WCL Stereo FM. At 24-7 Well and Pump Service, we mean just that. Water will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407, and a licensed professional will come out to your site. Whether it is a water system installation, repair, well inspection, or install underground water lines, they'll be there. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407. We're in the Ocano, Ocano Falls area yellow pages. 24-7 well and pump service. Fireside Road, Ocano Falls. Tired of running to the bank for every little check? You can save a trip to the bank with the convenience of mobile check deposit from the Stevenson National Bank and Trust. Snapping a picture with our app is as safe as depositing checks at one of our seven locations. No more rushing to the bank before closing to make those important deposits. Visit snbt.com to enroll for mobile check deposit today. The Stevenson National Bank and Trust, 101 Bray Lake Way in O'Connell, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Well, Southern Door struggled in the first half. and We looked at that. If they got hot in the second half and started hitting the ball, O'Connor would have a hard time keeping up with Southern Door, especially the way Southern Door's defense and, and the turnovers by Oconto. And that was that was a scary thought. But the other thing O'Connell did real well, they shot free throws really well. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Southern Door had a 31-20 lead at halftime. And they outscored O'Connell 37 to 25 in the second half. As O'Connell trailed 33-22 early in the second half. And Southern Door won a 15 0 run. When that 15 0 run hit, that's when the game got out of hand. Then it turned out to be a 46 22 lead. Oconto trailing 60 33. Trying to bring it back down. They had a four point run. They outscored Southern Door actually 8 2 and bring it back down to a 21-point lead, but they couldn't get it under 20 after that. And the final here at 68-45. But in the first half, Southern Door went up 2 to nothing. Kyle tied it up at 2. Southern Door went on a 7-0 run to make it 9-2. to Oconto trying to keep it close. Trailed 9-4. Southern Door hit a 3 Kyle came back with a three. The Southern Door outscored Oconto at that point, seven to two, and brought it up to a nine-point difference at eighteen to nine. O'Connell went on a four-point run, trailed eighteen thirteen, and O'Connell could get no closer than seven at twenty twenty-seven twenty, and that's and then Southern Door ran off the final four points to take an eleven-point halftime lead. We'll take a break. Come back with more right after this on your home high school sports WSCO Stereo FM. Holidays are a time of joy. Don't let money worries get in the way. Want a stress free holiday? Call NEW Credit Union at 800 924 1250 and ask about our holiday loan special. That's 800 924 1250. Rates as low as 4.99% annual percentage rate for a 12 month term. Maximum amount $2,500. Our loan specialists work hard to help you get the loan that fits your needs. Rate subject to credit worthiness. Stop at any one of our locations or you can apply online at newcu.org. 
Example of repayment would be a monthly payment of about $8.56 per $100 borrowed. All loans subject to approval. Federally insured by the NCUA. With offices in Oconto, Zurich, Oconto Falls, and Pistigal, we are federally insured by the NCUA. Membership eligibility required. This holiday season, remember, we can help you own it. We all want to be self-sufficient, whether it's fixing projects at home, whether it's changing the oil on the car, or maybe even keeping your checkbook balance. But when it comes to income taxes, trust me, you don't want to do it yourself. You don't want to do it with someone that just does it three months a year as a little sideline job. You need to work with a proactive 24-7 CPA firm that can actually get your results and keep more money in your pocket. Pick up the phone today. 715-735-0583. If you don't know everything about insurance, you'll profit from the knowledge and experience at the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. You'll benefit from the thorough analysis of the insurance that you really need. They all recommend the companies and policies that are the best for you. At the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, they specialize in complete coverage of all your insurance needs. Call the Ocano Falls Insurance Center, 113 North Main Street, downtown Ocano Falls. Hi folks, this is David from Wits Piggly Wiggly in Ocano Falls. Are you sick of rising gas prices? Well, at Wits, we have a solution. When you purchase qualified groceries with blue shelf stickers, and there's hundreds throughout our store, you build up discounts for 15 gallons of gas on your club card. Then, when you fill up at our pig stop pumps, just scan your card and watch the gas price drop. So scan your card, shop the blue stickers, and save money on gas at the Pig in O'Connell Falls. Let's take a look at statistics for Southern Door. First half, 31. Second half, 37 for 68. Leading scorer for Southern Door and the game, Megan LaCroix for 21. She had 11 in the first, 10 in the second for 21. Gabrielle Atkins was limited to only seven points in the first and 11 points in the second. She finishes 18. Trace LeGray finishes with 11. Seven for Taya Bertram before. Kendra D'Antoni with three before falling out. Six points by Haley Schmoen. And uh, she followed out as well. Southern Door, two of four, free throws in the first half, four of six in the second half. Finishes eight of twelve for the ball game. Oconto led by 18 points by Mara Allen. She only had five in the first half. She came up with 13 in the second half. Five points from the free throw free throw line in the second half. She was five of seven. Mixed that with the first half. She was. Eight of 11 in free throws today. 13 by Sydney Cook. Lauren Nierenhausen finishes with two. Six by Jenna Hornblad. Three by Ellen Sir Whitey. Hattie Gary had three points playing in the bucket and a free throw. So Southern Door with the win, 68 to 45. We'll step out here back with Lauren, your home by the sports, WLCL, Stereo FM. At 24-7 Well and Pump Service, we mean just that. Water will be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407, and a licensed professional will come out to your site. Whether it is a water system installation, repair, well inspection, or install underground water lines, they'll be there. Call 920-848-2407 or 920-604-2407. We're in the Ocano, Ocano Falls area, Yellow Pages. 24-7 well and pump service. Fireside Road, Ocano Falls. Want to know what I like best about high school sports? I love watching my son run on the field. I love seeing him smile when he high-fives his teammates. I love seeing his eyes light up when his team scores a goal. I love the fact that since he's been playing high school sports, he's making better decisions. And I love knowing that high school sports have never been safer. Why? Because coaches have more information than they've ever had. Training techniques are more sophisticated and equipment has never been more advanced. 
Playing high school sports isn't just safe. It's still the best way to give your teenager a healthy head start in life. And that's something I really love. This message about the value of high school sports is presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. Hi folks, this is David from Wits Piggly Wiggly in Ocado Falls. Are you sick of rising gas prices? Well, at Wits, we have a solution. When you purchase qualified groceries with blue shelf stickers, and there's hundreds throughout our store, you build up discounts for 15 gallons of gas on your club card. Then, when you fill up at our pig stop pumps, just scan your card and watch the gas price drop. So scan your card, shop the blue stickers, and save money on gas at the pig in Ocado Falls. Right now we're looking at the final score of 68-45, Southern Door with the victory. Looking at um, really no other scores that are even calling in that's locally. We've got one from, that's from a game in California. Boy, you must, you know, going all the way out to California for a ball game. That's, that's going to be wild. Otherwise, Ocanto in the Packerland Conference. I'm at the Independent. I've got a long way to go yet. I'm not going to do this again. I'm going to find a different way to find the Packerland Conference a little faster. O'Connell drops to 1-2 and two in the Packerland Conference, 3-2 and two overall. Southern Door now at 3-0 and oh in the Conference, 4-0 and oh overall. Again, after tonight's game, Oconto will play at Sturgeon Bay on December 5th and come home and host Algoma on December 8th. For Southern Door, for Southern Door, their next game will be on December 5th. They will host Peshtigo, new newcomer to the Pacland Conference, who's also have only one loss on the conference season, and then will host will travel to Southern to Sebastopol. So Southern Door will travel to Sebastopol. Again, the final score is 68-45, Southern Door, with a win over Oconto. Looking at any any local scores, there is none. We'll step out here. Join us again tomorrow night as we have Oconto Falls basketball on your home for high school sports. WCO Stereo FM next week. We'll have Oconto on Tuesday as Marinette comes to town. Thanks, Dave, back to the studio. Thanks to the listeners. You've been listening to WLCO Sports presentation. The final score again, 68-45, Southern Door with a win over Oconto. Good night, everyone. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and all that comes is here and now. My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. That has been Ocado Blue Devil Sports Action on your home for high school sports, WOCO Stereo FM. Today's sports broadcast being brought to you by the NRW Credit Union, Wits Piggly Wiggly, Stevenson National Bank and Trust, Island Fells Scatchard Anderson, Ocado Falls Insurance, 24-7 Well and Pump. Join us again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. for a wrap-up of all high school action on your home for high school sports, WOCO Stereo FM. I'm glad you came.